Now we've been on the snow for a few days, used up a little bit, banged up edges. I'm going to teach you now how to clean those things up. Going on back to your bench with your nice vices there. You always want the base to be away from you. And I'll teach you why here in just a second. What you're going to want to do now is learn about your stones. In our water here we've got our diamond stone. Actually little tiny bling blings all throughout there. The best cutting tool in the world. And we've got our carbide gummy stone also in there. What we're going to do with these tools is we're going to take our hand and just really lightly go over the edge and what's going to happen is you're going to really feel a lot of inconsistencies there. It's going to be grabbing at your fingers. I really want you to be careful here. I'm just trying to teach you how that feels. All those little burrs in the edge are making your board feel like this as you're trying to make turns. So by using this stone, we've got a nice light side, we've got a nice aggressive side. Go ahead and take it on the side edge. Oh, you can hear that sound. Not a good sound. That's all the rails you were hitting and the rocks you were bonking and the walls you were sliding. Kind of think of this as like a super rough sandpaper. Now from the side edge, go ahead and slap it down on your base edge and do the same thing. That's getting the burrs out of your edge. Whenever you hit something with your metal edge hard enough, a chemical reaction happens. You actually case harden the steel. So if you were to go straight to your file, your file is actually not strong enough to break through that. And you'd hear the zip, zip, zip sound that some of you may have heard. That's why we're using our carbide stone first, our gummy stone. Use it in the water, lube it up. On the side, and on the base. Have your rag handy, clean that thing up, and we're ready for the next step.